So as you guys can tell by my reaction, I'm completely shook by that video. Hey honeys, it's your boy Jeremiah back again with another video. And in today's video, I'll be reacting to Jane Zing's Body First. This is from her debut US album, Past Progressive. I previously back to dust my shoulders off with your leg in the card above if you want to check that out. And I thought that one was lackluster. I definitely think the visual direction and the design concept of the video was amazing. But the song was a bit tricky for me. The song wasn't something that I thought I'd see her doing. I'm seeing on the screen that there's this invisible music video concept, which I'm not too sure about. Um, it's saying I should view from seven meters away. So I'm going to try to move myself back to really get the full scope of this video. Try to hold my comments until the end. I will also be listening to this song for the first time as well. So this will be my first time listening to the song as well as reacting to the video. But before we get into this video, make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week. Not every two weeks. Not every three weeks. Every seven days or less. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh my goodness, this is so trippy. I can see it, but I need to back up a bit. Wow, wow. I've never seen nothing like this. Oh my goodness. Would you be my company? My company for more than tonight. I'm a side. Won't you raise my company? My company. Cause I love how you put my body first. Would you be my company? My company for more than tonight. I'm a side. Body first. She looks so good. So as you guys can tell by my reaction, I'm completely shook by that video. First of all, that was super cool. I've never seen that before, ever, in my life. That whole concept was an amazing concept, I think. Just the fact that, you know, there's this artistic way of viewing the video, I think is an amazing concept. I personally don't think it was the right concept to apply to this specific video, but I do think it's a great concept nonetheless. And let me explain, because when you do something like that, everything is void of color. There's no color at all. So everything you're viewing is in black and white. And, and it was hard to see a lot of the scenes, especially because they were black and white and there was so much movement going on. I felt like that would have been better suited for a more subtle song or a more subtle, you know, 
visual experience going on behind the scenes. You know, maybe it was just one person doing a couple movements, but it was like, you know, two people kissing, two people caressing. It was just a lot of movement, a lot of hand motions and gestures going on. So it was really hard to stay focused. And I'm not even gonna lie, at some point around like halfway through the video, the video is maybe like two or so minutes, two or three minutes, halfway through the video, my eyes were actually hurting, like trying to just focus on everything that was going on. I personally would have took the last shot of Zayn in that purple room. I think that shot was amazing. She looked absolutely beautiful in that shot. I would have took that shot and done something with that shot. I would have possibly put them two in that shot and had them two caress and do all of that stuff that they were doing in the regular video, in this purple video right here. And, you know, throwing in some shots of her from time to time, and that would have been a video for me. When it goes for the song, I'm still a bit confused. Of course, I know what the song is about. The song is a bit more risque for her taste or things that I've seen from her, of course. I don't know her personally, but the things that I've seen from her, it seems a bit more risque, it seems a bit more, um, you know, a bit more raunchy. Not too raunchy, not too over the top. But I don't get who the audience is. Well, when I think of an album, I think of telling a story. I don't see the story from the first song, That's My Shoulders Off, to this song, Body First. I don't see a clear story, a clear customer in mind. I don't see who would be interested in her music. Like, if you think of like artists like Halsey, or if you think of Fifth Harmony, or if you think of Megan Trainor, or even artists like Imagine Dragons or Daft Punk, they have very similar sounds. They have a very specific customer in mind. I don't see a specific customer from the two songs that I've heard so far. I don't see a specific customer for this song. I don't see a specific customer for Dust My Shoulders Off. I think she needs to work on creative direction of where she wants her music to lie. Because the girl can sing, we all know that. You know, she can play the instruments or she can do whatever she does. But you need to be able to take what you have and package it up nicely so that somebody will buy it. Because of course people, you know, of course the fans will buy it, but the fans will only buy it because they're your fans. You need to, you know, be able to gain fans. Because guess what? One hit wonders are a thing. People will buy for one song and you don't keep them, you know, you don't keep them satisfied or you don't keep them entertained. They will leave you just as quick as they joined you. And I'm not saying that'll be the case, but I'm just saying I don't see a specific customer for this body of work so far. If there are any songs that you think I should react to of Zangs that are better suited for my needs, Please drop them in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly react to them. But that's all for this video, guys. Make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon for notifications when I post. I post every week. Not every two weeks. Not every three weeks. Every seven days or less, honey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, honeys.